Hey everyone, Paul here again. I wanted to give a brief uh, explanation and let you see what the students see on their end of Envision's digital platform. So I'm gonna go right into a student's class. Um, this is what they see when they log in. Here's their class. In the center, I'm gonna click classes. And if I'm a student, I can tell right away by looking at these top three tabs, what I've not started, what I've been working on, and what I've completed. So some of these are digitally interactive and those are when you see this pattern here with the dots. If the student clicks into that, you'll see this uh, opportunity to either post a comment to the teacher and that's where they can initiate conversation. They can also attach a file from either their computer, Google Drive, or OneDrive. These files can be MP4s, they could be uh, photos, um, they can just be text. And this is a great way to um, upload something to your teacher that may be some work that you wanted them to see or uh, give feedback on. Now, again, for these, they're digital quick checks. Um, I'm sure you're aware of these. If you haven't used digital platform before, the student just clicks in, they start, um, and you can't see everything because I am on a screencast, but basically they start, and when they start, they can go ahead and click their answer and ultimately submit. Now, with that, I'll go back to the three tabs where I've not started in progress and completed. Uh, sometimes uh, you'll go ahead and you'll assign something, I'll go into in progress, where it's not digitally interactive, like a practice. So I'll click on and show you what I mean. I'll click the practice and then same setup, you can turn in by attaching a file and you can leave a comment. So I'll click practice. So here's practice, this probably looks very familiar to a lot of you. Um, now, because it's not digitally interactive, there's a couple things I can do. If I'm a student, and depending on what um, capabilities I have to get this file to you, um, will depend how I send it, obviously. So I could download it and I can then do the work, scan it, and upload it back here in attach file. But if I don't have those tools, I can also take a phone, uh, do the work in my notebook, take a picture of the work, and then upload it right here on attach file as well to show the teacher that I had completed the work. Um, if you go back and uh, in the remote learning page, on the link of um, communicating with students. Uh, if you click on there, you'll see how I had actually attached a file um, and what it looks like when the teacher opens it. So it's very easy, it's like any other um, computer uh, platform where you attach files. And students are um, more than capable of doing this. And if not, then um, let me know and I can make them a, a video on how to do that. Okay, so uh, once they attach their file, they can leave a post. Um, whatever they want to communicate to you, just right here. Uh, they go ahead and post that and they're ready to go. Um, just to show you how easy it is to attach a file, I'll go from my computer, choose file. Here's some files. Um, I'll choose Seth's work, even though this isn't Seth. And then I'll attach. And there's the work. Once that's in, I made my post, I just simply turn in. Yes, turn it in. And now that work goes straight to you, the teacher. So now um, I wanted to show you a couple more items. Remember that the student has full access to their book. So if you decide to um, tell them to refer to a certain topic or you want to give them a problem from their text, you can refer straight to the text when you're communicating with them. Scrolling down here, don't forget that they have a glossary for definitions and they have math tools, which are your interactive manipulatives um, that also students can do creative things like create a problem for you or answer a problem for you using the digital tools and then maybe take a screenshot and upload that as a file. Um, so again, uh, multiple ways to communicate with you, the teacher, and then your ability to communicate back with them. Um, and again, check out that link, communicating with your students on the remote learning page. 
And uh, that's all for now. I hope it was useful. If you have any questions or you want some more information on how to utilize uh, the digital platform on Envision, uh, pfloris at orangeusd.org. Um, or I'll also be at work, so you can call me at extension 4202. Thank you.